All right, good morning. This vlog takes place directly after last vlog. Sort of, it's the next day, obviously. Yesterday, I was working on the sculpture for Alex. This vlog, I'm going to actually finish that. So I started off making it and then I got interrupted by my dinner, which is not a bad interruption at all. Someone's here. I don't know who, who that is. Um, but anyway, after supper, it was the first playoff game uh, for the Oilers. Yeah! yeah! Woo! <laughs> Which was a disappointing uh, loss. Look at him. Yeah, that ref is going to be that all. Oh. But, oh well. Hello. Good. Who's this guy? Get him out of here. This guy's Corey. This is Josh. Corey? Have I met you, Corey? No, we haven't. No? Corey and I were neighbors for seven years at Stony Plains. Oh, yeah? He's a framer by trade. Oh, yeah? Cool. Good to meet you, man. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, shit. Okay, I think Corey has left, or at the very least, he's just outside here with uh, Clint. Did he just get scratched by Archie? Oh no, by Penny. What happened? Your cat like fucking jumped on me, claws right in me, hanging off me, and I'm trying to get her off. And she's like, Rrr! and claws in my shoulder, and freaking like bleeding, a... and... <laughs> What the heck? I've never seen her do that before. Jump right up. Like she jumped onto you? She's like yeah. standing there just right out claws just into me and I'm like pulling her off and her claws are in me. And... Okay. Sorry about that. That's fine. That's whatever. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've well, never done that before though. She's usually super well, I think she was trying to be friendly. But... She doesn't realize that claws hurt. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to climb that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, good to meet you, Corey. Yeah, nice to meet you. Too. All right, see ya. Um, that's hilarious and also not so great. Penny loafers just clawed onto him. Whoops. Anyway, um, oh, now Johnny V just pulled up. Johnny V is here. Um, but anyway... Corey just came to use the thickness sander, um, this drum sander here, to uh, flatten the piece that he had made. It's nice to have something like that uh, in the shop. It makes short work of stuff like that. Then after uh, that, hey, what's up? Uh, just uh, about to get onto this uh, sculpture here. But anyways, we... Uh, shit. Shit. <laughs> I almost said shit in the breeze. Instead of shot the shit, I guess I could have also said shot the breeze. I got confused there. Anyways, we shit in the breeze about the dream shop. I kind of showed him roughly an idea of what I'd like the outside to look like. Uh, but now that he's taken off, we got Johnny B in the house. Yeah, I'm back with a vengeance. <laughs> or something like that. So, yeah, what's going on? Welcome to my show. I'm just uh, I'm just gonna get back to this. Yesterday I uh, made some progress on this after dinner, but before the playoff game, and now I'm gonna get back at it. It's turning out pretty good. It's looking uh, like it's gonna become one solid piece. I'm happy with it. I just have to do the same thing over and 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 over again.
the base in shape, all formed up. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Pleased with that. Let's just see how it compares to the precise measurements I took to prepare for this. Two and one half. Okay. So I can add that. Yeah, I got the box. So Put a base on there. Add the spoilage. Yes. Yes. Perfect. But I'm going to do that tomorrow. Ah, shit. I forgot to turn off the freaking gas. I always forget to do this. It's not dangerous, but if it's leaky, you can waste it. Let there be light. There we go. Okay. Next on the agenda for this thing is we are going to wire wheel it and that will get all the slag and the soot or whatever it's called off of there and it'll reveal its kind of uh internal shape if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but uh that's the next step and then we can really start making it look like like an actual tree music Lord upon guns, bring your friends, it's fun to lose and to pretend she's so overboard and self assured. Oh no, I know a dirty word. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, now I've been saving over here some leaves. These are not leaves. These are leaves. Wow, that is dusty. Yes, perfect. This is what I'm going to use for leaves. This thing's a little heavy. If you can imagine. Something like that. Alright.
Mosquito of the year. Okay, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to give this a bark you like texture, but I kind of went a little backwards here because I don't want to get spatter on all of these spoons down here, which I am a little bit. So I want them to stay nice and smooth so they look leafy. Uh, so I'm kind of just going along in short bursts. What I could do is cover these up actually, and that would help. But anyway, I'm getting there anyway. It's looking good. Very good actually, I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. That's better. So I just realized that uh, these leaves here expand beyond my uh, parameters. I don't know how easy that is going to be to see, but this is not gonna leave enough room for it to fit in its uh, little niche it's going in. So I have to break these off and I will place them elsewhere which is actually a good thing because I ran out of teaspoons all I have is tablespoons left and I don't want to have an uneven uh, disbursement of big versus small tablespoons I, I like what I got so far but this whole cluster here is all teaspoons so I need to put a tablespoon or two in there which will also help me cover up the spatter that dripped and I can still keep uh, these attached which gives it a bigger, fuller, bushier look, if you will. So put a couple big spoons in there. It'll look good. Aesthetics will uh, prevail over uh, mistakes. This teaspoon cluster can go somewhere. These are probably in That looks organic y. Maybe add a little. There we go, that looks like a branch that's been pruned and is peeled over, much like you might do with a real bonsai. I don't know, I don't, I don't work with bonsai, but I think, I think that works good. Hopefully that backlight still allows you to see what I did there. Okay, now let's place some spoons around. Put a tablespoon in here, and it'll break up some of the repetitiveness of the teaspoons. Okay, now the one measurement I didn't take with my arm was how deep the niche is. So I have to guess, I have this two by eight that is a very nice dense fur, which I think will make a great base. And I'm just gonna cross my fingers that it's not too deep for the niche it goes in. I know how long it can be, but uh, I don't know how wide it can be. So <laughs> we'll see.
Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. I want to place this so that this can be in the middle of the niche, not necessarily this, because we need this to look. side hmm I don't want there to be all that space there wow that bent that bent almost immediately okay so that will go there Okay, now that is basically the footprint shoe. <laughs> That's how I know where it goes when I come back to it. So I'll take this off to the side. I'll pull these out. And there we go. This tight green fur is no joke. This is what old houses are made out of. That is stuck. I'm gonna have to use a hammer. Thank you. There we go. Okay, now I know where it's gonna go because of the holes. I can now uh, sand and whatever else. issue is is all the voids along the bottom I don't want that to show because that looks kind of stupid but since this is a nice piece of wood and I don't want to ruin it I am going to replace it with a surrogate here and this is where I will finish off the base of the tree without ruining my wood it'll make sense it'll make sense lightheaded now from blowing that. Hey? I feel lightheaded now from blowing that. <laughs> <laughs> like blowing all my oxygen out then like sucking in the smoke and then blowing it out again. <laughs> no probably not. <laughs> all right managed to get that all good and well. Let it cool off in a pail of God's brew and then we can move on to the next step all right that's been dunked long enough clint is leaving he's gonna work on his probably another day i've been helping him with his as i've been working on mine okay i hope i don't mess this up close eye trust Concentrate. Think only to be. Make 
a public picture down to rust the pine needle. Wipe her mind clean, everything but nothing exists, whole world. Only tree. You got it? Open Remember picture? Yeah. Make the next picture. Just to trust the picture. Hopefully I did that. Slow enough so that it didn't burn the wood too badly. Something that I can hopefully just sand away with little effort. But now at least we have it attached to the base. I think I can work with this. Hey! It's landing, guys. I just attached the tree to the uh, base here. And I'm digging it. You know what I just now realized I forgot to do? I forgot to brake clean this. To what? Oh, brake clean? Yeah, I usually do that to get all the schmutz off, but I'm too late now because I put it on this piece of fur. It's nailed in four or five places. So that's one piece now. The burning came out around the, maybe that would look cool. Do some what? If like you burnt it and some of that burn kind of was just around these edges. Oh, with the, from the brake clean? Yeah, that might not look bad. Okay, I do have more of this, so yeah, let's try it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no aerosol left in here. <laughs> Yeah. How <laughs> underwhelming. <laughs> There's no aerosol left. So now it won't blast it. But also, I don't really... This is going to be so underwhelming. Well, how freaking boring is that? That's okay. I can get it by hand. As a consolation, uh, here's where it did work. People always ask me, why do I light this stuff on fire? Well, this is brake cleaner, so it helps clean it up. And then this is fire, and it helps it all... <laughs> I just realized that I may not even have a clip of it working. I'm thinking you just saw a clip from uh, the 12-part series where I built one of these live. But if not, maybe you saw something else. Um, okay, got it all nice and clean. Now all I got to do is... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. We have more brake cleaner. There's, it's kind of empty, so maybe it wouldn't have worked anyway. Well, it definitely sprays out pretty good. Damn, oh well, too late, too late now. What I really need is this, some glossy finish. Spray that on there. This kind also works on wood very well. Let that dry and then do it again. Look at that thing, sparkle. So nice. You can see I got most of the soot burn marks or whatever out of there. So it looks pretty freaking clean. I like it. I like it. This is one of my favorite ones I've made so far.
Awesome. Okay, let's go see what Alex thinks about it. I need a uh, I need a bag or something to. I need. Wow. Well, I don't know if it'll fit in a gift bag, but I need a uh, bag to cover it up in. I've called him and asked him if he's home, and I just made up some weird reason to go see him, and he's like, uh, I guess so. <laughs> so, yeah, I just need something. What did you say? I just need him to do a voice acting thing for just Joshua with Dakota. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look at that egg. Yeah, it looks almost gray, eh? Yeah. It's cool. Um, how about even like a garbage bag? Yeah, a garbage bag would work actually. Yeah. All right, I managed to find a bag to put over it. I mean, he's gonna know what it is, most likely because he wanted me to make this. He just doesn't know that I am bringing it today. He has no reason to suspect that I'm bringing it today. I just, uh, I don't know why I wanted to keep it a secret or a surprise, but I, I just do. So let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna open it. Hello. Remember this was in your uh What? Wait, it's your birthday, Josh. <laughs> it is my birthday. How'd you know? Uh, uh, how did I know it was your birthday? I sang happy birthday. Yeah, that's how you we did? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I opened the door, I heard your voice, and I said, Happy birthday to you. Well, okay. She sings happy birthday to everybody. No. Just for no reason, because you're a preschool teacher, so you have to. <laughs> you think they just sing? This is heavy in my left arm, oh my but... Gosh. I didn't... I was not expecting this. <laughs> Good. Let's put it on a table or something. Okay. It's got little feet on it, so it should be... Should be good. Well, I'm going to refinish the table anyway. It's been busy. Oh. Have a... Uh, have a gander. My gosh, I was not... I was seriously not expecting this. Oh, that's super cool. That is really cool. <laughs> that's really neat. Well, we've been keeping a space set aside for this for a while. Yeah. Uh, a year, in fact. Yeah. You, you came and measured that when the house was under construction. Yeah, and then I forgot the measurement. So the last time I was here, when I went to the that one last house with you, yeah. I went. I didn't actually have to go to the bathroom when I asked to go to the bathroom. I just oh. needed to measure it again. But I, uh, I forgot my tape measure, and I didn't want to go outside and then ask to use the bathroom again. So I just used my arm to measure it. So hopefully it's good. But the cool thing about this, speaking of uh, hoarder houses and stuff, all this material came from one of, or all of, or whatever, the different hoarder houses that you Holy cow, you've been gave busy. me stuff from. So you've been very busy. Yeah. It was about uh, 13 hours or so. Oh my gosh. But it turned out pretty freaking cool. It looks yeah, really cool. It really does. We should see if it fits in the nook upstairs. Yeah. Okay. The nook. All right. Uh, I might need you to take oh, yeah. the, the horse out. This I hope the niche is deep enough for it. We'll have a spot for it regardless. Which way should I put it, Josh? Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Uh, okay. Maybe put it the other way. Because it has more leaves on one side, just because I thought it made more sense. What well, fits in there? It does fit. Like perfect. Your arm measurement is I guess, exact. I guess all those skills <laughs> as a trade worked out well. Oh, Maybe you gotta shine a light on. Oh, look at that. Wow, that actually looks awesome. It catches the light? Yeah. That's really cool. That looks great. But you're not supposed to give gifts to people on your birthday. Well. <laughs> Mind you, I guess I owe you some money for it. <laughs> but that doesn't count. That is so cool. It, yeah, it fills the space very nicely. Good, I'm glad you like it. So the rod is from that garage. Not a hoarder house, not the hoarder house one you did, but that, remember the rod was in the oh, rafters? Yeah, yeah. And then the spoons are from that one where they were in the containers. Remember at the one in uh, near Red Deer? Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then 
This is from the latest one that was in the garage. Oh, geez. And then this bolt and stuff is from another one. But anyway. It's yeah. even more special, not just because you made it, and that actually means quite a bit to me, but it also incorporates the sort of the spirit of what both of our channels are. Right, yeah. Like I am trying to save stuff from the dump, and you're also trying to save stuff and create stuff from the dump. Right, exactly, so yeah. Together, we both kind of help make this thing. Yeah. Well, I did no work, other than, <laughs> other, than, other than dumping a bunch of scrap materials on you, but... Um, it kind of symbolizes, you know, like the the, the fruit of the, the efforts, I think. Yes, exactly. So what, what would you call it? Like a cherry tree or? Well, I was thinking about doing cherry blossoms, but to do it with the material that I got from you wouldn't really work. So I tried to look at, see what the shape of the leaves are on a cherry tree and they're not quite the same. So like it's a, a just spoon's eye. A, a spoon's eye. There we go. <laughs> So it's just a generic something. I don't know. But I remember you saying it would be cool to have the shape. So yeah. I kept yeah. that in mind. And uh, But wait, did you sign it? No, I didn't I actually. Need your, I, need your, I need your autograph. Okay. I, I got to find a marker. So do you have a pen on you? No, I, yeah. I should though. I'm going to find a pen. That looks good though. Yeah, it looks really good. That's, that was a complete surprise. <laughs> good. What did you tell him you were coming for? Uh, some voice <laughs> sound acting <bite>. stuff. <laughs> yeah, soundbite thing. Hey, Josh, do you want to sign it in Chrome? Sure. Oh, that looks cool. It really does look cool. It is I, actually like a metallic. I could have made it a little taller, but I didn't. No, no, it's perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. Because otherwise it would have overpowered the other two things on the other side. Oh, yeah, because they're a little shorter. Look, it's a special chrome one, just like they get the Oilers to sign a... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little thicker, though, so you're going to have to accommodate... That's everybody. okay. Do you want me to sign it on the top? You want me to film you signing it? Or on the bottom? I think you should sign it where you want. Maybe on the bottom. Yeah. Because I don't want to draw away from the art itself. Okay. There we go. Do you want, I can't even see what you did. <laughs> it feels like you drew a Garfield. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I need it. That's cool. Very cool. I I always wonder where you put your Garfields. <laughs> uh, well, that would have been funny if I put it there, but I... Watch, and then whoever... You know what was funny about the Garfield thing? Hmm. Is that Bill Murray got tricked into doing Garfield? Yes. Because he thought it was going to be a... He thought it was the other... Co he, he thought, thought it was the, the Coen brothers, brothers, not whoever Coen... But what I was thinking about this the other day is that the guy that did the voice of Garfield on the animated series yeah. also did the voice of... What was his character on Ghostbusters? Was it not Ray Stans? It was Peter Venkman. Okay. So the guy that voiced Bill Murray's character in the cartoon voiced Garfield and then Bill Murray oh, that's funny. voiced Garfield. So it's like this weird cycle of those guys doing each other's voices. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's They're like, yeah, Garfield sounds like Bill Murray, but that's because the guy that did Garfield sounded like Bill Murray. Oh. That, that's actually that's actually perfect. Is your mind blown? Yeah, I didn't know that part. I knew the Cohen brothers versus whatever Cohen dude who did Garfield. I knew that fact, but that's it. Yeah. Oh, anyway, it's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. You really do. I should have signed it to you. That would make more sense. Oh, it's, uh, it's fine the way it is. Okay. It's good. You don't want to lift it back up. I usually don't put people's names in case they want to sell it in the future. Not that I think you're going to sell it, but I wouldn't care if you did. Yeah, what would you offer? <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's going to live here for as long as that nook is a nook. Bad luck wind been blowing at my back I was born to bring trouble wherever I'm at Got the number 13 tattooed on my neck When the ink starts to itch then the black will turn to red I was born in the soul of misery Never had me a name They just
just gave me the number when I was young Got a long line of heartache, I carry it well The list of lives I've broken reach from here to hell Bad luck wind been blowing at my back I pray you don't look at the end I pray I don't look back I was born in the soul of me Gave me the number when I was young I was born in the soul of misery Never had me a name They just gave me the number Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Oh, well, he liked it. So that bonsai tree or spoonsai tree is going to replace a Tang Dynasty bronze horse that's, you know, like a thousand years old. So that's good. No, Tang Dynasty was 618 to 907, so it's pretty darn old. I found that thing in Mary's house. That oh, house. yeah? Yeah. Where did you get the geo thing? Oh, uh, crazy story. Um, we bought it in a store. <laughs> 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 Everything else in this house has a story except for that one thing. Yeah. Well, it's cool anyway. Uh, his kids and stuff all came and looked at it after. Everyone liked it, which was pretty cool. Probably my favorite one that I've made so far. And of course I'm gonna keep making them. I have another one to make for my friend's flower shop and uh, some other things. So I'm glad uh, we fixed the welder. Glad that uh, I got that off the checklist. <laughs> he was not expecting that at all, which is, which is good. I'm glad because I wanted it to be a surprise. He was like, wait, what, wait, what, what? Uh, all right, gotta make it home for the game. The Oilers are tied 2-2 in the series against Los Angeles. So stressful watching these games. All right, to be continued. So, just watching the hockey game, 5-2 for us at the second intermission. Uh, just eating some cake here. And just remembered that I forgot to get Alex to do the, the voice soundbite thing. It was uh, a ploy to go over there, uh, keeping my actual intentions secret. But, like, I actually did need him to do it, so... I'm going to have to go back again and get him to do that. And he's going to be like, what? <laughs> but I'll do that maybe tomorrow or something. Thanks for watching.